Hello everybody. Well, here we are on the wheel again. And I've got here in front of me, just so you can see, this is a little covered, a little covered box that I quickly need to turn off. It's actually got rather dry. Such is life. These things do happen. So what I propose to do is quickly try and salvage him and get him back on the wheel. So I'm just tap centering him. Now, as you may notice, I do have a an extra mirror there for your benefit. I don't know how good it's going to be, but I guess it's a case of try and find out, you know, test it out. So give me some feedback on that one as well. Thanks for all your feedback, by the way, all the people who've been writing to me. I've had a lot of emails in the last 24 hours from people saying, yes, go for it. Love the new ca camera angle. So, so much better. Thank goodness you're not got in your head anymore. <laughs> so, as you can see, I'm got my finger in the middle there and I'm applying a bit of pressure down onto the centre of the pot. There's no fear of me caving in the, the bottom of the pot because it's, it's gone beyond that. It's actually, as I said, a little bit on the hard side. So I'm just, just trimming down the, the outside of the pot, looking for the, the shape that I'm that I want. Put a bevel on your corners by the way. I don't like to see pots have got sharp corners on the bases. I like to see a bevel there. It's practical as well. It serves to strengthen the corner of the pot so it doesn't get chipped. Plus it it actually it actually looks better. So I don't know if I just hold that up there, you can see there's a, a bevel I put there. Right, let's just get him on there. I quite like these little sort of lidded pots. I used to make a lot of them actually when I worked for my father at the Lowdown Pottery. He used to like them, we used to make a lot of them. Oh, coming off the wheel. That's because it's dry, you see, it's not sort of, doesn't want to, doesn't want to stick. So just tap something here. Just refining a bit, little bit the gallery here where the lid, where the lid goes. It really is too dry this pot, it's almost sort of like, Throw out stage almost, it's just beyond. Well, that's not actually a very good fitting lid. I didn't measure it very well. I did this as a demo actually, just on this workshop. But I didn't measure properly there and there. Consequently, it's got a little bit of a bit of slop there in the lid. Never mind. Going to tap centre the lid up. Try our best to trim it. La 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 la. So Slightly domed lid across the top, slightly higher in the middle than it is in the side. So that sort of looks better from a aesthetic point of view if it has a slight 
high point in the middle there. Well, let's just uh, put him onto the pot and see what he looks like. Yeah. Okay, folks, well, there it is. It's a little kind of tea caddy affair, I guess. You could call it a tea caddy, maybe, or a... Now that could have some sort of fluted decoration, possibly just going down the side there. I'm just thinking to myself whether that dimension there is just a little deep, and I'm just going to bring down that angle on the top. Fussy fellow that I am, but there you go. You sort of hone and refine your own sense of judgment in these matters, and you have to, you know, what for me is one thing isn't, it's a personal thing sometimes, you know, you just, and that's what you want, so that's what you do. And, um, it's more, it's about keeping the pot in balance, keeping the things relating to one another, the lid relating to the body of the pot, and just having that sense of feeling right on the pot, you know? But those are things that come from having your eyes trained, not just your hands in coordination tra trained to actually make the pot, but it's actually having your eyes trained to be able to see what the pot needs in any given situation. And how to make a very subtle little change to a pot, just to bring it into line with what you're after. Now you probably wouldn't notice anything different about that, but it's very, very, very slightly, you see. Okay, folks, well, we've had seven minutes on this clip, that's okay. Still got a bit more time, so get out the seals. Make sure the bottom of your pot are clean and not all scabby with cruds of clay stuck on them everywhere. And then putting in the maker's seal. And I put Spain here because I live here. Good enough reason, I suppose. Spania. Okay. That's it, folks. The finished little pot. All right. Well. Simon Leach here saying, toodle pip and keep practicing. Now how do I turn this thing off?